Hello guys, uh, ito yung laptop ko ngayon is Sony Bio E Series 2012 model pa ito. So, sobrang luma na to. So yung ginagamit ko nito guys uh, HDD, so 2.5 HDD for laptop. So balak ko papalitan siya ng SSD guys. So this is SSD 250 gig Samsung Evo. Balak ko siya ilagay palitan ko yung ano hard drive guys. So yung laptop ko luma HDD pa to tapos palitan ko ng bago ng SSD Samsung na bill ko to, to sa dati na bill ko to dati 1.8 lang ayun ko na baka na ngayon 2 mil na mahigit so so I will try this guys so my laptop is inside is only HDD 500 GB HDD 2.5 inches so I will replace this is is id so be sure guys this this like this guys is the same in your laptop the socket so this is is id so very fast this this very fast so I will I will put this guys in uh, Windows 11 in my OS so only this one and also this we call it Caddy here. I put this HDD also. So later on, I will just order this Kadi. It's not yet Kadi, guys. It's very old DVD ROM. So replace to Kadi. And I put HDD. So first thing first, guys, I will replace this my HDD to SSD. So SSD, guys, is very fast. This is Samsung 860 Evo. This is very fast. So first thing first, guys, you need to get the at your back so mine here at my back so already unbolt and remove so this is CCD guys I just already unscrew here unscrew this is the, only the casing only the casing so you need to get this and then this is the HDD so this is 5200 RPM I think so this is 500 gig so remove this one guys so this is uh, guys this is my windows 10 so i will replace to guys because this is very slow so it's this is the same size is the same size of my ssd and sdd because this is 2.5 and 2.5 this is the same and also this guys is this socket is here is the same also guys here yeah it's the same it's, you can see it is the same so we need this the same so here guys just put in the back and put already so you need to some some cover so I'll make some cover here so screw Make some screw here. I'll screw and then later on I will screw it up. So all you need to do is guys is to put here. Yeah, like this and insert and then that's it guys and screw all everything I just get uh, only my one hand because my one hand is in the cell phone We need to screw all, screw, and the last thing is here, and 
Which is screw on the where there's the bolt. The only one remaining bolt. I think this is one. Here from here. So we need a hand. This shit. It's a very small bolt. I need some also small so I put my here it was just difficult for me so like this guys So we need to close now. Close on. This is very old laptop guys but it's still okay because this is i5 So everything got done so Now this is guys this is the old one this is DD This is my old one and I replace it's DD So the HDD inside is not yet programmed that's why we need to install windows 10 uh, windows 11 this bootable usb already windows 11 here inside so this is my my specs i5 this second generation i think third generation windows 7 so i will put windows 8 a uh, windows 11 because i have 8 gig ram so this have there this is Rajin graphic also guys so this is all laptop but uh, still good Sony Bio F series put uh, USB and I think the we try some go to BIOS delete 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 So already here is function guys you see we're installing Windows 11 Scepter Windows Starting Windows So United States of America Windows 11 Pro Accept or license so this is guys this is inside top 40 so i don't i don't like to partition so so this is solid for my os so later on i will put some additional sdd like this put here in the dvd room so this is optical 
B. Uh, so, I will, I will need to order in the Lazada or Shopee this uh, Caddy call it Caddy 12.7 mm. So, so I will replace this, this DVD room to into this HDD. So, first thing first, we don't have Caddy, so you need to install Windows, Windows 11. So, this is it, guys. So, make sure you must be formatted so be to be to clean clean installation so now it's okay so all you need to do is next only and installing windows 11 so continue later guys so we have time so almost done guys 94 percent so we need to wait for this one so until finish 94% and uh, if you're looking some finishing guys or installing update you need to get the bootable USD in GT so that it will restart not installing again almost done this Windows 11 Pro so you need to make quickly here if the restarting yeah so finishing up uh, restart and then remove this USB bootable USD so that it will not installing again so let them restart until they finish setup so it restarting Yeah, you can put your uh, upgrade your laptop guys into SSD if there's some HDD so you need to buy some SSD 240 gig or some 120 gig for your OS or make sure you buy 240 gig more so that uh, more storage so this is it guys so let them loading and then it will ready soon and then we will try what how many seconds bootable time because this is SSD so SSD is faster than uh, HDD so I think 10 times or 24 times so if you turn on the your laptop or your PC it will take uh, 7 to 14 seconds and then your computer is ready that's SSD so it's uh, there's two types of SSD. Uh, there's some M2 in that two is upgrade in that two just a small stick that it, that is a very fast than normal SSD. But uh, we don't have some socket to put M2. I have M2, but uh, we don't have socket to put M2. So only for SSD only. But uh, the the laptop, the new laptop, I think if you buy some new laptop. There's some M. MBME so that is very fast and then maybe th that is fixed not uh, removable so for this one laptop is uh, the SSD is removable that's why you can replace either SSD or SDD but 2.5 inches so uh, so next uh, tutorial guys also we, we, we remove this DVD room we put some caddy so we can put here uh, because this is the DVD room we cannot use this one because uh, we don't have CD or something like that because only this is the new generation generation that uh, we use only USB so we don't need this one DVD room so we put change to caddy so we can put more SSD or more more SDD room so this is guys so United States always United States so US so escape only name name so put the name is partial space gaming so 
That is my also my YouTube guys. Vasio Gaming just search in Vasio Gaming YouTube and Facebook page. Password next only. I do not need to put password. Getting ready. So make make sure this if you install some OS, make sure just plug in the charger because he needs some stable supply power and also guys this is my this is also from the laptop this old one terabyte and this is in the call it this casing is in closure so in, all you need to do is to put inside and then that's it so you you have a one terabyte hdd external so if you buy this one it takes i think it takes uh if you buy new new external one terabyte it takes um two to three thousand so or four thousand but i just make some my own so i buy some hdd from the shop in lazada so this is used but a hundred percent also condition so I buy some, I think only five dollars. Uh, no, no, ten dollars. And then this enclosure is five dollars. So, so you have some, not more than twenty dollars. You have here one terabyte external. So, wala pang isang libo guys, nakakabili na kayo ng external. So that's it guys. So now Windows 11 is ready. So I will install the driver, all the driver later on. So it's ready now. So we lock some specs. So so the video card is not yet uh, detected because uh, not yet uh, installed the Mubo driver installation. But I will check. I will install later on just we need to only to try it this multiple time yeah uh, this is now I have this specs is i5 second generation so 8 gig RAM so Windows 11 Pro so that this, this is good and this is guys this is the 240 gig 860 Evo SSD so this is and this is a uh, dvd room right this one this this one we we remove that one and then put some caddy and then put some storage so we need to order in the shop lazada it, it's very cheapest and then put some ssd or ssd so we try to restart guys so how many seconds restart Restart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So fourteen guys, fifteen, or I just restarting. So it takes. Uh, 7 to 14 seconds so again guys we'll restart again so we count so we count we count the uh, not re, not uh, not including restarting just counting if you turn on the PC yes. only this restart uh. 1 2 Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifth. So fourteen seconds, guys. It's ready. So fourteen seconds ready. So we need to shut down and then on. So Make sure it's 14 seconds all the time. 
So, shut down your seat, guys. This is my power on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So, fourteen seconds, guys. Bootable time, fourteen seconds. Your computer is ready. So, if you have using some, if you using this one, guys, is using four. 4, 5 RPM 5,400 RPM So this is bootable time I think 3 minutes or 1 minute to 3 minutes it, Your computer is ready So if you have some 7,200 RPM Maybe it takes 2 minutes Your computer is ready So we have SSD That's why only 40, 14 seconds Imagine that guys Minutes and seconds So 14 seconds your computer is ready But uh, take note guys This is uh, not yet loaded uh, Windows so later on guys I will install all so we will uh, we will also put some next next tutorial tutorial if uh, Windows 10 11 is loaded so how many bootable time so th that's it guys very thank you so don't forget to subscribe my channel special gaming guys also the new my my old SDD into the new SSD that's what 14 seconds bootable time thank you guys thank you Ayan guys, natapos ko na-install lahat ng mga application at, at kailangan ko ito yung mga games din, Steam, Dota 2, at saka GameLog. So, loaded na to guys. Check natin guys ha. Uh, yung apps, so loaded na loaded na to guys. Ayan o. Oh. Daming apps guys, kompleto na yan lahat. Microsoft Beatles, dami na guys. So, pinaka-loaded na to guys, kompleto na lahat ng apps. So, yung natira sa SSD natin ay ito na lang. So, kailangan ko ng kadi para magagawin tong storage din. So, ito na loaded na guys. So, try natin na uh, power up natin. Tapos, on natin ulit. Shut down siya. 1, 2, 3, 4. 3 seconds shut down guys. 3 seconds ang shut down. Sa so, loaded na siya. Tapos yun natin guys, mag ano tayo ng yun. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, so 18, 18 seconds guys, so ready na lahat guys, 18 seconds, 18, 17 to 20 seconds, lagyan natin guys, so kanina, yung hindi loaded guys, wala pa mga application, wala pa masyadong ano, so 14 seconds lang yun, hindi pa loaded, 14 seconds but, itong loaded na guys, na mga apps, lahat lahat complete na to, may OBS, may mga games na, so marami na akong install, Photoshop, so 17 to 20 seconds ang boot time, so I-compare natin sa HDD guys, about 3 minutes sa uh, loaded guys, 3 minutes to 3, 4 minutes. So, baka, ganyan. So, mas maganda yung SSD guys, 17 to 20 seconds lang. So, yan lang guys, thank you.